The arms dealer is after Victoria. I need to stop him before he gets too close. Man, he already too close. You want my advice? You take that girl and you run. I never did believe in running. According to my sources, the girl is in Chicago. Me and the boys are leaving ASAP. I need you along to spearhead the operation. Are you in? Wait. I heard you. You want me to snatch some chick? Name's Victoria. Tom is gonna call you, tell you how to find her. She's in hiding somewhere. You got that? That's a lot of hassle for one chick. She must be special. I need to bring my boys. That means double my fee. Mm. Take Lenny with you. He can bring her back when you find her. Lenny, limp dick? Trip on my feet. <laughs> Sorry, the kid's a dipshit. 25. 39. 26. 37. 30. 35. Deal. <laughs> Lenny, come give the man a lie. <laughs> Come on, Limp Dick. <laughs> Limp Dick Lenny. <laughs> Shut up, Wade! <laughs> I like good old Wade, I really do. Son of a bitch makes my skin crawl. Oh, that's probably why I like him. <laughs> now, Blake Dex is a ruthless son of a bitch for sure, but the guy you really need to worry about is his business partner, Tom Osmond, owner of the Vixen Club over on Bristol Street. This prick is bad news, Holmes, even by my standards. I mean, he's clever and really connected. And it's only a matter of time before he tracks down your girl at the orphanage. How do you know about that? Hey, Chicago knows, I know. <laughs> Tom ain't all that different. Send me his picture. Oh, look at this shit hole. What a crappy building. It's full of tramps and empty bottles and shit. It's the girls you have to work with. And worst of all, it's crawling with pigs. We have to sneak around those dirty pigs. It's long coppers. Ah, too slow, wouldn't see me. Oh my word. Place is full of them. Reason to be alerted, but I'll check it out. What a sucker. Anyone there? Right, now we've got to get inside Dom's teddy club. The easiest way is climb up on this ledge and go through the window. Those guys don't see you down there. Otherwise, 
engaged. And jump through the window, make sure you pick the evidence up, that'll give you a few extra points. An important key card. And a nice silenced pistol that is extremely useful. Just sneak out of this little office place. And we're nicely in the club. Let's go see some titties. There's the target behind the bar. Head to this area with the private dance booths, and then we key card that we picked up, we can get in this last room, and then we've just got to wait. We don't get disturbed any of those, so we get the gun out ready. Make sure it is the one with the silence silencer on. He's coming now. He's a dirty boy. He's coming for his lap dance. A video camera there as well. We might, we should record it and upload it to YouTube. That will teach him. Hey, leg. Get in here for a minute. Let me see you move. Come on, show me what you got. Come on. This is made with glass, by the way, so he can't see us. Don't shoot him yet. Let this, let this girl shake her ass. Shake it, baby, shake it. So you got the bodyguard where he's outside as well. So now he's had enough and he kicks her out. Before we actually do away with him, just make sure that the girl and the guard are well out of the way. And then just shoot him between the eyes. What's a pain is when you're there, if you don't pick him up right, you can actually end up dragging him out of the curtains, straight into the corridor. So before you start uh, pulling his corpse around, make sure you're going in the right direction and put the weapon away. Now we can just exit this room. Now there's a little save checkpoint just around this corner, so just activate that just in case, because the next bit can be a little bit tricky. There are a few different ways of, of getting rid of the target as well. Another way which is quite fun, but it does take quite a while until he actually gets to the area, <coughs> is in this little room, there's a little disco ball and you can actually drop that on his head via a switch that's in this other room but it does take him a while to get there so Titty girl. It's because we ran into the room. I right, just wait for this guard to turn around and carry on his patrol. And we can jump out and follow him. I just can't take much more dog. Just sneak past him and get into this uh, this closet. For now. Every 
Now the safest way to do this is we, we do have to wait just for a minute to two. But basically we've got to wait for the guard to um, just carry on patrolling. Because there's two girls in that room there. We have to wait for one of them to leave. Because if you don't quite often she will disturb you when you are uh, taking this guard out. So we've just got to wait a while. Got him smoking. No good for you. So he just walks up and down the corridor. <coughs> He'll go back to uh, the bottom of the stairs in that other room. And he'll come back and have another smoke. And at which point hopefully one of those girls should leave the room. Hopefully. Yeah, you see there, the flames on the floor where she's going to be walking. So all he's got to do now is wait for the guard to come up again. Which is on his way now. He's having another perv. He's a dirty boy. As soon as he's turned his back, right now, we can go out and subdue him. And then we can pinch his, uh, his uniform. in there before anybody comes back the reason we do that and grab his uniform is because there's another guard just waiting at the bottom of these stairs that always seems to uh, I always seem to get rumbled if I try and sneak past him anyway so I find it easier just to do it this way and we walk straight up to the exit there we go This next bit is uh, pretty simple, really. It's just a matter of sneaking past everybody. Well, it's as simple as that, really. Explore. There's no other guards or anybody around on this top floor. Don't think there's anything to pick up either, actually. As I recall, no, nope. nothing showing up. So, incoming message. You were right. Dom was searching for Victoria. I got to him just in time. Good for you, huh? Kudos. He was on to you as well. A man is coming. A man named Wade. That guy's crazier than a shithouse rat. You need to get your ass over here right away, because this is about to get very loud and very messy. I have to call you back. We 
we have more company from the law. The place is swarming with them. Oh shit, that's the wrong way. Oh, that nearly got me. That wouldn't have been a great start to walk straight into those guys, would it? There's a shotgun there as well. I don't think we'll be needing it, but I shall pick it up anyway. Little checkpoint that's worth activating. So there's a there's a cop that's um, patrolling a little corridor just around there, so we'll just let him come this way and just wait here for a minute. Let's try and sneak past them. As soon as he's turned his back, we'll go around this way. And again, just wait until he's. Um, Gone to the other end of the corridor and walk back, then we should be able to sneak in behind him. He'll stop there and then he'll walk, walk a bit further away. As soon as he starts walking, that's the cue to go. Now. It's worth picking one of these bottles up as well. Let's duck in. No, you fat fucker. Oh, I threw that too soon. Hey, Come on, Tubby. Been better throw a donut for him instead of a bottle. Anyway, as soon as he turns his turns on that corner. sneak up anyway yeah we got through anyway it's just if you use the bottle it normally grabs his attention down there that little bit longer not really any need either, though birdie I'm on my way back to Chinatown stay low and watch your back Oh yeah? Well that's easy for you to say, Holmes. Man, that Wade, they say you got ways to make you talk. And you and I both know that I got a lot of shit to say, so hurry! Just stay calm. Stay calm and shut up, baby. So I can clip your wings. this plank now. Slippery when wet. Uh, yeah, along the ledge. Don't jump through the window. Oh yeah, we're okay. The guy's going that way. There's a guy patrolling. But if we just go down the stairs a bit and let him come back across this way first before we um, do anything with him. He 
you shouldn't see us on the stairs, but if we get towards the bottom, stay stay low just in case. Another smoker. We should go out to the window in a minute. Come on. Right, that's the cue to go and get him. Pinch his uniform for the new disguise. And we need to get him out of his body. So if you subdue them and hide the bodies, then you... Basically, you don't lose any score points at all. I'll pack a bottle up in case I get thirsty. And then if we come out this way, there's a little ladder that drops down to a little storeroom. Go in the chat point if you want to use it. Sneaking down to this room, and then there's a little valve for the sprinkler system. So we just disable that first of all. Where's that guy got his out of the way? Oh shit, somebody's on us. Let's get these fireworks lit. Oh, bollocks, seeing this. Right, restart chat point. I'm not losing those points. That's why that chat point's quite handy. Time you know we seem a bit better as well if you redo the checkpoint. <coughs> and basically we just sit and wait here just for a minute or so. Just let everywhere fill up with smoke. And that's pretty much our cue to walk out of the place. There is some evidence as well, so if you just sort of hook to the edge of the, the store as you come down to this desk, there's a videotape evidence as well for a bit of extra score. And you can pretty much just walk straight to the end of the level. Easy. Something's got to be. Who fucking stops talking like that? But that is my voice. I can't help it. 
This is another very short little area as well, which you can pretty much just sneak straight through. Pick up the evidence, pick the lock, and we're out. Chill out, baby. I'm coming. This next level's fun. So many different ways you can get rid of these guys. But I'll just do the quick and easy, simple ways. Right now, because we've got this disguise on, all the store clerks that are on these little market store things, for some reason they all tend to recognise you if you uh, get too close to them, so it's best just walk straight through the crowds as much as possible. Right, the first thing we do is come down to this little area, and just crawl through this air duct. Basically, all we do here, pick up that file, and then go straight back out. Now that cop that was there will be accused of stealing the evidence by one of the henchmen, and they'll have a little uh, gunfight, and the cop actually kills the guy for you. So we'll leave them to that. There's one of the guys now. Right, I always sneak around this way upstairs and then dip back down because that guy there in the white just tend to spot you. And that's not good. Alright, we're good for a minute, so if we just nip up here, there's some more evidence. We'll just grab that for a few extra points. And then we hide in this trash can. That's our target there, he's just talking to that other guy. For some reason he wants to get him down this dark alley to talk to him. I'm sure I'd follow him down. There's the first one down, that's the cops just killed him for us. Then you would respond what? Uh you want roast duck? Wrong answer. You want roast duck, what a smart ass. Right, at that point once you've pushed him down we can sneak out. Just sneak up behind him and then just push him. That's another silent kill. Grab that checkpoint because this next one can be a bit more tricky. Always handy to have a bottle as well, just for distraction purposes. On this next one. The store clerk coming who's a pain he sometimes spots you so just hide there if you get the bottle and just throw it in there that'll distract both of them just enough so as we can sneak past 
Then what we need to do is get straight in here, sabotage the gas pump. And then we'll just come up this way. Sit and watch the fireworks. There is another checkpoint thing there if you need to. We shouldn't really need it though. Wait. Yeah, the locals aren't talking. Yeah, they gotta be covering for them. You do realize the streets are packed, don't you? Really? On you? How many lap dances? Are you throwing a uh, champagne room? Wow, it's a lot of ass. And just for finding this birdie guy, huh? Alright, you got yourself a deal. Crack a bottle and get ready to light my fire. Light my fire indeed. Oh yes, burn baby burn. What's that for a firework display? Right now, before we go running off, just make sure that the guard and everybody's been distracted that way. Then we can jump straight out. And again, just walk straight to the exit. Perfect. with this cowboy guy. Real nasty looking piece of work. They were going downtown, I think. I think I'd rather walk than drive that fucking thing. Too late, 47. I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> Beardy, you double-crossing snake. What would you rather do? Find a girl? Or waste a bullet? Clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Shoot the fucker. So there we go, that's our one way to complete Hunter and the Haunted. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, chat back soon for the next one.